This is a News Watch 16 special report. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Renny Workman. We're following breaking news out of Lackawanna County. The jury has returned a verdict in the trial of the man accused of killing Old Forge businessman Robert Barron. Let's get right to News Watch 16. Stacy Lang, she's live in Scranton with the latest. Stacy. Yeah, good afternoon, Renny. We just heard the verdict was just read here at the Lackawanna County Courthouse. The jury has found Justin Schubach guilty of first degree murder and also guilty of burglary. The jury reached that verdict around 1.50 this afternoon after what had been 10 hours of deliberation over the course of two days. Newswatch 16's Joe Kohut is up in the courtroom right now and he's texting me some details. He said when that verdict was read, the courtroom was packed and there was an emotional response from the gallery of the courtroom. People yelling jeers at defendant Justin Schubach and also clapping when that guilty of first degree murder verdict was read. The jury here had a lot to consider in this case. One of those things is whether or not to convict a first, second or third degree murder. As we just heard, first degree murder was the conviction here. First degree murder requires premeditation, intent, and malice. And the jury here thought that that was seen over the course of this week long trial in Lackawanna County Court. The jury in this case listened to a lot of testimony over the course of five days from 24 separate witnesses from, for the prosecution that Justin Schubach's defense did not put up any witnesses. It was a very attentive jury. All 16 people, including the four people picked as alternate jurors, maintained eye contact with the attorneys and witnesses throughout testimony and seemed to be very engaged. Several took copious amounts of notes throughout the testimony, and when deliberations began, they asked thoughtful questions regarding key evidence in the case and about the key words in those degrees of murder. One of those words was intent, which is one of the requirements for first degree murder. The Barron family has been here throughout the trial and, and the deliberations today. They were in the courtroom when the verdict was read. Robert Barron's wife and three adult children were joined by uncles and other extended family members. We have spoken to them several times over the past seven years as this case came to a close today and they sought justice in Barron's disappearance. Nothing happened for years until about a year ago when Barron's remains were finally discovered and that led to the arrest of Justin Schubach. And that leads us to today, again, a first degree murder, a murder conviction against Justin Schubach in the murder trial for Robert Barron's murder. Stacey Lang, Newswatch 16, reporting live in Scranton. All right, Stacey, our thanks to you and Joe for your continued coverage. And we will have much more on the trial and that verdict starting on Newswatch 16 at 4. Thank you for joining us for this special report. This has been a special report from Newswatch 16.